red light. Oh, hey, welcome back, everybody, to Boss Championship Racing. My name is Nils, and I'm here with my co-host, Donnie McFadden. We're so glad you are here joining us today. We're here for round one. Groups one and two will be racing. Well, let's meet the drivers for group number one. This is Stony Miles from Milestone Racing from Lawrence, Kansas. And lining up next to him is j -Bo from Dob Squab Racing from South Point, Ohio. And next up in the 37, the Canadian Indy Rain from Whitby, Ontario. And one of my favorite liveries on the grid, Al Senior from Scottman Racing from Muncie, Indiana. Well, our grid is set for race number one of this anticipated tournament. We're just a moment away from going green. If you're new, the points look like this. There will be four laps, four races, and the cars will rotate clockwise, each getting an equal shot at each position. And the lights go green. Stony Miles off to a good start through the hairpin. And coming into the next section of track, pulling away and grabbing race number one, Indy Rain in second, Jay Bowen third. Al Senior coming in fourth. That was amazing. I've waited so long for this. It's so great to see Indy back at the track. Well, here's an instant replay, and we can see here Stony Miles just getting away. Indy Rain defending for P2, able to keep off J Bo. But a great start to this tournament, and we're just getting started. So here are the points after race one. Stony Miles out in front with five points. And the cars are now gonna rotate. Al Senior gets a shot at pole. Here we go. Come on, Al. The group staying close together. And around the outside, Stony Miles takes the lead. J Bo as well, moving up to second. Come on. And to the line, Stony Miles again with the win. And a bummer there for Al Senior coming in third. I thought he looked fast, but it looks like he's struggling a bit. Yeah, that's for sure. And uh, Stony Miles is looking pretty hooked up around the track and grabs another very important five points. So after race number two, Stony Miles up to 10 points, J Bo up to five. Indy Rain and Al Senior just hanging on at this point. Here we are at race number three, Indy Rain and Al Senior in the front row. I don't have favorites, but come on, Al. J Bo close behind. Moves into second place, trying for the pass, can't make it work, and then goes to defend. What a finish at the line. Great racing all around. Here's the replay. I'm glad to see Indy Rain out in front. He looks great up there. He sure does. j -Bo keeping it close, though, trying to make that pass on the outside, but then Al Sr. trying to make it on the inside, just can't quite make it work. And so here are the points again after race number three. It's a tight race. Anything can still happen. I just hope that Indy Rain and Jay Bo can give us a real good show. No doubt about it. Here we go. Green and they're off. Jay Bo with an excellent start through the hairpin. But Stony Miles into second place. But here comes Indy Rain. Can't make it work as Stony Miles pulls away in P2. And Al Senior coming in fourth. Oh, I really thought Indy Rain had him, but just seemed to lack some pace when it mattered the most. That's right, and j -Bo was able to pick up five points, which will put him into P2. And that is how it'll finish up. Stony Miles with 14 points, j -Bo with 13. They will move on to round two, but I have to say a very impressive win for Stony Miles. Picking up 14 points. j -Bo as well fighting off Indy Rain and Al Sr. And unfortunately for those two, they will be heading home as they are now eliminated from the tournament. Oh, it's so unfortunate. They're the coolest looking cars on the grid so far. But yeah, if you don't have the pace, then you're out of here. Well, Donnie, after the first set of races, how are you feeling about being on the team and being at the track? Man, honestly, this is the coolest job in the world. I used to drive, but I'm really enjoying it, Nils. Yeah, it's great to have you on the team. Your perspective and humor is top notch, man. So I'm glad to have you. Well, here are the drivers for group number two. We've got from Scottman Racing, Swede Savage from Muncie, Indiana. And next to him is Arlo from Arlo Racing from Walcott, Connecticut. 
And in the second row, we've got Bolo Brown from Team Miniature Car Racing from Hudson, Florida in the number six. And in the SupplyLifeStores.com 96 from Arlo Racing, this is Tim Terwillinger. Well, here we go for group number two and round number one. We are set for another great action-packed group of cars. I probably shouldn't have a favorite. I don't want to be disappointed. Well, we try to have a non-biased commentary, but here we go. Green and they're off. Sweet Savage in the 40, looking good. Tim Terwillinger right behind, but here comes Arlo into second, trying to go for first and to the line. Too close to call Arlo with a great charge. What a start to this group number two. That was seriously impressive from Arlo. I can't believe it was that close at the end. Yeah, Arlo is showing some very serious straight line speed. And we'll have to get another look at that with our slow-mo overhead finish line camera. And man, is that close. It's crazy. Here it is again. Looks like Swede will take the race by just the tip of the nose and the skin of his teeth. We'll grab the five points. Arlo with three, Bolo Brown with one, and Tim Terwillinger with two. Is it Tim Terwillinger or Tim Terwillinger? That's a good question, I guess. We should probably figure that out. But here we go, race number two, going green. And Tim is out in front, inside of the hairpin. Bolo Brown right behind in second. Battle in the back, looks like Sweet Savage able to stay in front of Arlo for P3 and even challenging for P2 right at the line. But here's the replay. That was really cool from Tim, whatever his last name is. But yeah, he looked pretty good there. He sure did. And uh, Sweet Savage is looking pretty good on track as well. And Bolo Brown coming in second. Those are some really valuable points. Yeah, they sure are. Here's the finish line camera again. Looks like Sweet Savage, if he just had a little more track, could have made a pass. But after race two, the points look like this. Donnie, who's impressed you so far? You know, Arlo is looking really good on track. I know he only has four points, but he's still got a lot more in the tank. Yeah, I think he's out for revenge after the F1 tournament. Well, here we go, race three. Bolo Brown out in front, Arlo in the hunt. And to the line, Bolo Brown takes race three, grabs five points. And man, Bolo Brown has had a quiet and strong performance today. Yeah, he sure has. And uh, Arlo, though, I really thought he's going to go for the win. It looked pretty close at the end, but there's still another race. Here are the points razor thin between the four drivers. I mean, this is where you just send it, right? I guess. You're the expert, though, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, right. And here we go, race four. Lights are green. Arlo with a nice lead. Sweet Savage right behind and flowing out of that corner. Here comes Bolo Brown, not able to make the pass at the end. That will have some interesting implications for the points of this group. But here's Arlo once again, just on a mission to move on in this tournament, doing so with a very valuable five points. Grabs the win with 12, but now we've got a tie between Bolo Brown and Sweet Savage, and we'll finish it with a sudden death. Winner moves on. Lights go green. Sweet Savage with a nice start. Bolo Brown trying to make a run on the outside, but will he have enough? Sweet Savage still out in front and to the line. Sweet Savage takes the sudden death point. We'll move on with Arlo. No, I really thought Bolo Brown had more in him, but Sweet Savage, very impressive. Hats off to you, man. Yeah, great race for Sweet Savage. Secures his spot, moving on to round two. But Arlo is your winner for group two. Oh man, he's back and I'm here for it. The straight line speed for Arlo is something that uh, opponents are gonna have a lot of difficulty dealing with. But Sweet Savage, a lot to be said as well. Great performance, nice and tidy around the corners. You know, Tim, whatever his last name is, cool car. 
unfortunate result. Yeah, and same for Bolo Brown. Kept it really close, just unfortunate to not be able to move on. Yeah, he was such a good driver today. Well, if this is any sign of what's to come, we are in for one unbelievable tournament. Thank you for joining us. If you liked what you saw, please hit subscribe and we will see you back at the track for the 2024 IndyCar Tournament at Boss Championship Racing.